photography and visual storytelling, it's such a powerful medium. It's tapping into people's emotions, it's tapping into people's empathy. These images are both beautiful and inspiring and hopefully will inspire people to want to protect the planet, but we also have images which really reveal some of the problems that the planet is facing. As I go about my business of underwater photography, more and more often I come across the hand of humanity and usually it's in a very negative sense. This is a red-eared slider. You can see by the distinctive marking where its ears should be. And red-eared sliders are one of the 100 most invasive species on our planet. And this is a story which we're seeing across the globe where people have acquired turtles as pets grown tired of them for whatever reason. They live for 30 years, so it's actually quite a commitment, and release them into their local waterways. This picture is one example of many where we're having this very detrimental impact. We're scrambling to figure out what we've done and how to fix it. My photograph depicts a male Bornean orangutan, which is a critically endangered species. He's in captivity and he's there just standing at a barred hatch hoping, hoping to, to leave. It wasn't necessarily that I was thinking about taking a photo, it was just what else could I possibly do to help. Uh, the most important thing now is to communicate this message and tell his story and tell the story of all non-human animals in captivity. Black leopards, they're funny in that, you know, we all know about them. You know, in our society, they're ubiquitous from superhero movies to the jungle book. So we all know about them. But actually in the wild, they're incredibly rare. And for me, it was always kind of the ultimate dream was to actually photograph one because they are just so cool. And, uh, and then being nocturnal and black in the black of night, you know, creatively, that gives you so much to work with. Just by chance, somebody mentioned on a call that one had been seen every now and then up in this area in Lycipia. Um, and, you know, it was very speculative. I was, I was going for a single animal in this vast wilderness and I didn't actually uh, have very high hopes of achieving anything. But, you know, to my great surprise, within a few days I got my first photograph of this leopard. And that then became the start of this year-long obsession. We just captured uh, a glimpse of this lioness pouncing out of the corner of our eye. She'd taken down a fully grown wildebeest. I was just thinking, how can I capture this incredible moment um, in the best way possible? I found it quite difficult to watch, um, but I'm first and foremost a conservation biologist. So the scientist in me was there thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm actually watching lioness eating right in front of me. It demonstrates that nature isn't pretty and it's not perfect. Like some documentaries or Disney films might have you believe. You have the, the hug of the elephant hugging the little baby lioness and uh, actually in, in, it's kind of contradicting because first you see it and you think about it it's oh my god they're hugging and then it's like oh wait <laughs> there's something else going on. Animals die every day okay uh, it's part of life and this uh, elephant, uh, female elephant, actually died of old age of natural causes. The unique thing about it is that it's so rare to capture something like that because usually the carcass is gone within a couple of days, especially when there's a, there's a pride of 20 lions. And then the vultures come and the hyenas and the jackals and everything just starts feeding. So this is why it's such a fleeting moment and this is why it's so unique. And what I like about it is intimate, not just not, not grotesque. What we are tra trying to do as photographers, and I'm trying to do as well, is create a deeper, longer lasting engagement with the viewer. A wildlife photo can convey so much in the split second when you look at it, and really just uh, 
form that connection with the viewer that then look, you know, inspires them to look deeper. I don't kid myself that one picture is going to change everything, but I do believe it can be a piece of the puzzle. If we can get more people shouting about nature and what's happening to our natural world, then hopefully the more people will listen.